Hey guys, Captain Rush here from Local Knowledge, and I'm here with Adrian, and he's gonna walk us through how to make a deep drop rig the way they do it over here in Cape Canaveral. We, uh, we like to use these uh, VMC Nemesis circle hooks, uh, 8382BN, and they also make that in an inline version. It depends on your preference. Uh, we're gonna use uh, usually use 250 pound test as a dropper and the main line for the rig. Sometimes we'll uh, go a little bit lighter if we're using smaller hooks for smaller fish. This rig is probably set up for something that you would use for tile fish, snowy grouper, um, uh, queen snapper, uh, even maybe some bigger yellow eyes that would work fine. Um, we're gonna take a you know, 12 to 14, 15 inch piece, your preference, crimp it right there. Uh, and then we're gonna slide this glow sleeve down on it. And you use this to cover up the crimp it's usually a pretty snug fit. And a lot of times we like to butt it up to the, the hook right there. And if you get it down there right, just right, it'll kind of hold the hook straight out for you there so that it doesn't fold over on itself like that. Everybody's lost a fish because their hook comes up backwards before. So this is a great way to do it. So once that's down there, we're gonna use a swivel sleeve. You have to get these sized to the line that you're using. So if you're using a smaller line, you're gonna wanna use a smaller swivel sleeve. This is the right size for this particular kind of line, but we're gonna attach it to the swivel part here because this is gonna go on the main line. So I grab a crimp. You always want your crimp to be a nice tight fit like that. Pull it down, not a lot of slack there. Pull it in. Always come short on the crimp, don't go all the way to the end. You want it to look like a candy wrapper when it's done. Give it a nice push down on a bench crimper. You can use a hand crimper as well. You just want to make sure you're sizing your crimp to the correct way. And then once it's done, you should have a flare on either end of it. This is one of the biggest problems we see with people when they're making their own rigs with crimps is that they don't crimp properly and they lose fish because of it. Uh, you're going to make four of these and then you're going to slide this down on a piece of main line and we'll show you how we do that next. So here we have our main line that we use for the deep drop rig. We uh, usually pre-measure it out. And if you can see, I put some black marks on it and we put that evenly spaced down the whole piece. This, is, uh, this particular rig is got, uh, gonna have four dropper arms on it. So we're gonna take this and slide it down the main line. So you find your mark. We usually like to keep that bottom one pretty close to the sinker. Then you're gonna crimp down here like this. Come up there and give it a nice tap. Make sure you're on the right setting for the size line. Same thing right here. And then it's nice and secure on the line. Won't slide up and down it. And then this way it'll hold off. Your sinker's gonna attach down here on your snap swivel and then you have your branch down here hanging off. So you're just gonna do four of those after that. But you can do this a bunch of different ways. We do some uh, different style rigs for different people. Um, this is one of our more popular designs where we put, we got a glow sleeve on it and we put a little glow skirt. You can put a strip of fish back here, a whole squid, something to give it a little bit more action down there. And these obviously glow in the dark you put a glow bead inside of that skirt to kind of give it some body. This particular rig only has two hooks on it. You met some people make rigs that just have one hook on them or two hooks on them and keep it kind of minimal. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. There's a lot of different ways people do it. This is the way you guys do it here. Yeah. And hopefully some guys come in and check out your store. Next time you're gonna have to show me how you do it in the Keys. Yeah, a little different, but not much, you know.